Hello, yogis. Namaste. Welcome to the practice online. I am Kelly, and this is Steph. We're going to be doing a twisting class today. And twists create a force in the navel center responsible to make us to feel balance. This balancing force creates a feeling of being simultaneously calm and vibrant. And because of this calmly vibrant force, balancing, twists are good for everyone. In the Ayurvedic talk, it's called tridosha. So it's good for all the doshas. So let's begin. Please um, come on your mat on hands and knees on a tabletop position. Take a moment to settle in tabletop. So this is a moon class. So the idea is to actually move it slow and take time and focus on breathing and stillness. So pose in tabletop, look down in between your hands. Just to stay here, take a full breath out to begin. When you inhale, relax your belly. On your next exhale, sit back, hips to the heels, bring your belly towards your thighs and gently bow the head to the floor. Repeat this movement, inhale, come up to tabletop position, look down in between the hands. And as you breathe out, sit back. When you breathe out, engage your belly muscles. And do it slow. Inhale, tabletop. Keep breathing in until your shoulders are on top of your hands. Breathe out and sit back. And keep breathing out until your hips touch your heels. Continue this for a couple more rounds. And I want you now to begin to get used to that every time you exhale, every time you breathe out, firm your abdominal muscles, which is start to create more and more a connection with your belly. We need to have a firm belly on the breath out, which is supportive for twisting. So practice that. One more round. When you exhale, the abdominal walls engage. And pause in child's pose just for a couple of breaths. Keep your body still for a couple of moments, but continue with your breathing. Next, inhale, come up to tabletop position again. And slowly tuck your toes and he lift your hips high, move to downward facing dog. Now we're gonna move in and out of downward dog to tabletop and count the breath on a balancing way. So call samavriti, when both sides of your breath is the same. Inhale and exhale. So begin in downward dog and just take a breath out. On your next inhale, drop your knees on the floor, relax your belly. It's going to be more or less four counts. Go up to downward facing dog again and breathe out four counts. Two, three, four. Inhale, drop your knees for four. Two, relax your belly. Three, four, breathe out to go up to downward dog. Two, three, and four. Now, a couple more rounds by yourself. Count yourself mentally. Inhale and exhale more or less four counts. As you move in and out of the posture, with your body and your breath on the same smooth rhythm. One more round. And when you breathe out, feel like your navel is powerfully contracting. Once you go up and downward dog again, stay in dog pose. 
ideally with a gentle bend on your knees. So then you can lift your hips high and make your lower back and spine super long. And push your hands firmly on the floor. And slightly draw your chin in towards your throat like a Jalandhara Bandha situation, which begins to calm the mind. Now if you're comfortable, close your eyes. And for the next couple moments, the only thing actually moving is your belly with your breath. Begin to create a deeper relationship with your navel center. Bring your feet a little bit closer together. Take a full breath out. On your next inhale, lift your right leg high with your hips square. When you breathe out, bring your knee to your nose, engage your belly muscles and lightly step in between the hands at the front of your mat. Carefully drop your left knee down to the floor and you're welcome to have a blanket or something to support your left knee if your knee is a little bit sensitive. And then just make sure your right foot is in line with your hands. You might need to wiggle the foot a little bit more forward. Take an inhale and length the spine up to the crown of your head. And keep your left hand close to your right foot. When you breathe out, lift your right arm up and twist. If this is too intense for your shoulder, if you have something going on on the right shoulder, you can just wrap the arm around and place the hand on the lower back, which the staff is going to demonstrate. Just for you to have an idea what it looks like in case you need it. But if your shoulder is okay, keep the arm up. Hug the right knee in towards your left chest or breast so the knee is not collapsing out. And then gaze where your neck feels okay. If looking up it's okay for you, stay there. If that's not okay, look straight or down. You shouldn't feel pain on your neck. Now continue with that smooth, even breath that you just did before. Inhale four, exhale four. In the belly. And more and more begin to connect that every time you breathe out, you firm your belly, which will support your twists. When you are in the twist, it's not as fun as it seems like. So practice a little bit of non-reactivity. Stay calm and present with belly breathing, especially when things get a little bit uncomfortable. Super nice. Look down and the next inhale, release your right hand to the floor. And carefully, when you exhale, step back to downward dog again. Pose in downward dog with your eyes closed. And already start to feel that more and more there is a connection, something building in your belly. Like a spiral action that comes out of the twist. On your next inhale, sweep your left leg high. Push your hands on the floor. And when you breathe out, bring the knee to the nose, firm your navel center, and step in between the hands. Drop your right knee down carefully. Adjust the knee with a prop if you need to. When you're breathing again, length the spine up to the crown and bring your right hand close to the left foot. And when you breathe out, lift your left arm up and twist. Hug the left knee in the center, which will support you to connect to the belly a little bit more. You will notice you need to engage your belly muscles to hug the knee in. And try and don't put too much of your body weight on your bottom hand. In certain way, try to keep your legs more energized, your inner thighs is squeezing in, and your belly core muscles more activated.
You might be thinking this is not as calm as Kelly described at the beginning of the class. If you are holding this for a certain period of time, it will make you feel a little bit of a discomfort. At this point, the ideal is that you actually force yourself to practice non-reactivity, calm abdominal breathing, even steady your eyes a little bit. Because the juice really comes out when you release the twist. So notice that. Look down. Inhale, release your left hand to the floor. And when you exhale, step back to downward dog again. Close your eyes, rest your mind in your belly. And notice like this balancing effect that comes after twist. There is something that becomes a little bit vibrant inside you but it's also very calm and grounded. The perfect combination. Mindfully walk your feet forward in between the hands, right at the front of your mat. Fold forward in Uttanasana, bow down. Relax your head. You can have your hands behind your ankles or hands on the floor. Take a couple belly breathings in here. Belly breaths in here, I should say. And bring your hands to your hips. Firm the legs and inhale, flat back, rise up. Lead with your chest. Come all the way up to stand. And when you breathe out, release your hands, eyes open. Pose for a moment. Because this class is a moon-based class, Ideally, to find that sense of calmness, we need initially to work a little bit. So let's work in our breath with a long exhalation, just to bring more of a sense of a, a stable feeling. Make sure your feet is hip distance apart. Bring your hands under your butt, close to your hamstrings, and apply a gentle bend on your knees. We're gonna work on exhaling longer. So just take an inhale to begin. And when you breathe out, the hinge of your hips and forward fold, slide the hands at the backs of your legs all the way down towards the calves or ankles and bring your belly close to your thighs. Arrive in Uttanasana. Then with a flat back, inhale, rise up, a little with your chest and slide your hands all the way under your butt again, the initial position. Repeat this and breathe out for five counts. Two, three, four, all the way down, five. Inhale, come up for four, two, keep your chin slightly tucked in, three, four, breathe out for six, two, three, four, five, and six. Inhale, come up for four, two, three, stand up, four, breathe out, seven, two, three, four, firm your belly, five, six, seven, inhale, remains four, two, three, Four, one more round, exhale for eight, count yourself. At the end of your breath out, stay now in Uttanasana with your hands behind your calves. Now hold this for a little bit longer. Shoulders away from the ears. Practice physical stillness stability, which is also required for twists. And then at the same time, notice your belly moving with your breath. Every exhale, the belly engage, which gives you a sense of safety in your lower back.
Okay, super nice. On the next inhale, rise up again. Reverse that movement, slide your hands all the way under the hermit strings. And as you exhale, release your hands on the sides. Pose for a moment, eyes open. Look forward. Feel the wave of gravity washing over your body. And then you step your left foot back and come to a wide stance, facing your feet parallel to each other. We're going to do this twist, Paravrita Trikonasana, where each round your hand is going to go a little bit further onto the twist. We're going to do four times on one side, four times on the other side, and then on the fifth one, we go back to the first side and hold. So just listen carefully as we're going to go with slow. Your legs are wide, but a little bit less wide than usual four-fold wide. So maybe just a little bit wider than your shoulders. A little bit less than that, Steph. Yeah, that's great. Toes are slightly inwards. Lift your arms parallel to your shoulders and take a breath in, length the spine. When you breathe out, place your left hand on the floor, right under your face. Open the chest to the right side and look up towards your right hand. Then look down, inhale, come up to stand again. Take a very slow breath out and place your left, right, left hand on the floor, sorry, the same left hand. And apply a gentle bend on the knee as now the hand goes a little bit closer towards the right foot. Look down, inhale, come up again. When you're breathing, relax your belly. Breathe out, twist again, left hand on the floor. Go a little bit further, left hand close to the right foot and bend the knee, the right knee. Again, inhale, rise up. Exhale, twist. If you're going a little bit further, now you can turn your left fingers towards the right toes. Open the chest and look up. Look down, inhale, come up. Was this the fourth one? I think so. Exhale, right hand down, other side. <laughs> Look down, breathing, rise up. Now you go a little bit deeper into the twist. Exhale, right hand goes a little bit closer to the left foot and apply a gentle bend on your left knee. Look down. Inhale, rise up. Slow breath out and twist. Slow down the exhale. Bring the right hand a little bit closer to the left foot. Lift the chest, look up. Look down. Inhale, rise up. One more round on the left side. Exhale, twist. Now if your hand is going closer to the left foot, turn your right fingers towards your left toes. Look down, inhale, come up. Breathe out, release your arms, pose for a moment to soften the shoulders. We're gonna hold the twist, it's not gonna be fun. Inhale, arms up. <laughs> Exhale, left hand down, gentle bend on the right knee and choose which one of those stages you wanna go. Or left hand under the shoulder, or you can go a little bit closer to the right foot, which is more intense in the twist. Initially start with the right knee slightly bent. Then stack your left shoulder on top of your left hand. Then the right shoulder on top of the left shoulder. And if you are more flexible, you could even bring the left hand outside the right foot. You don't have to, but you could. And then if you are more flexible, we could also start to straighten the right leg. But if you tighten your lower back or hips, keep the right knee bent. Draw the left hip back and keep your chest up. It doesn't look like, but it's super intense. To maximize the posture, even rotate your left inner thigh out. So it's an external rotation of your left inner thigh. And try to flatten your lower back. That's it. <laughs> now steady your eyes on a singular point, choose where your head, neck is happy to look, up, straight or down. Now for the next couple breaths, welcome a little bit of discomfort and practice the stability. 
every time you exhale, at the end of your breath out, apply a gentle pose on the exhale retention and then turn your belly a little bit more to the right. Use your exhale to increase your twist. It's juicy. Look down. Inhale, rise up. Arms parallel to the shoulders, to the floor. Exhale, release your arms down. Now close your eyes and feel this effect in your tummy like a spiral action. Even though you're not twisting anymore, this spiral action stays in your belly. It feels quite nice. So when you come out of the twist, that's the, the nectar, that's the juice. In the twist, normally it's challenging because twists are very demanding type of postures. Inhale, arms up, other side. Exhale, right hand down, and now choose where you're gonna place your right hand. More mild, you can place right under your face, and even you could use a block. Sorry, I forgot to say on the other side. If you do need a block, you can place a block under your hand. If you're more flexible, bring your right hand closer to the left foot or even outside the left foot. Then you start with your left knee a little bit bent to protect your hips and lower back. Draw your right hip back and flat, flatten your sacrum and keep your heart up. Maybe come a little bit less. Yeah, that's it. Rotate your right inner thigh outwards. External rotation to the right thigh. Take care of your neck. Deepen the belly breath. Every breath out, Support your twist. When you properly exhale and apply a gentle exhale retention, you can increase your spinal rotation. A couple more breaths. Twists are so incredible for your digestive system, both physical digestion and mental digestion. So things might come up, so we can digest them. Great job, look down, breathing to rise up. Breathe out, release your arms, pose. Mind in the belly, and now feel this balance effect, simultaneously luminous, like a vibrancy, but also very ground, very calm. Okay, stable luminosity. Bring your hands to your hips. Readjust your toes slightly inwards if you need to. Apply a micro bend on the knees. Inhale, length the spine, lift your chest. Exhale, hinge of your hips and forward fold all the way down. Bring your hands under your shoulders to the floor. You can use blocks on your hands. And just hold the forward fold for a couple moments. You can have your hands more in line with your feet Slide the hands back if you're more flexible. It's so more or less like the heels of your hands in line with the heels of your feet. Releasing the crown of the head towards the floor. Your eyes become more steady. Conscious breath in the tummy. Four folds, they are counter postures for twists. They work very well. 
So when you're doing a twisting class, idea is that you put some forward folds in there to balance it out, the slightly spicy feeling that twists they give, but also to make the body symmetrical again. Next inhale, come to a half lift. Keep your hands, fingers on the floor. Length the spine and look down. Stay on the half lift, breathe out and bring your hands to the hips. Firm legs. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Straight the spine. Keep your chin slightly tucked in. Carefully as you exhale, release your hands. Turn your right toes to the front and stand in Tadasana. Pose for a moment. And observe if you can actually feel, start to feel something changing inside you. A new effect in your body and mind. A standing twist here, bring your feet together. Put your body weight on your left leg. Gentle bend on the left knee. Then bring your right knee up. With both hands, hold on to the right knee. Almost like you give your right knee a little hug and it's stand tall. Now this is a balancing posture, so you need to be with your eyes in a singular point. Keep your left hand on the knee and carefully reach your right arm back. Turn to the right and then look to one point where something is not moving. You can stay here or if you're a little bit more flexible, you can grab onto the right big toe or outside the right foot either way and extend the right leg forward. Lift your chest and practice belly breath again. If you are particularly balancing today, carefully look towards your right hand. That's your balancing test. It's your breathing. <laughs> and carefully come back up to center. On the inhale, untwist and hold on to the right knee. It's a challenging pose. And as you exhale, release your right knee down, right foot down. Pose in Tadasana. Rest in your breath for a couple moments. So when we twist, it creates an impact on the tummy directly related to digestive or our metabolics, physical and mental. So don't be surprised if at some point you start to experience anything coming from your lower mind. It could be sometimes a negative thought or anything that passes through. Here is an opportunity as we twist to begin to digest our patterns of thinking. So we start to see things in a new way and react less like the old ways. Just observe. Bring your feet together. Other side. I'll try to be less disturbing this time. Put your body weights on your right leg. Bring your left knee up. Hold on to your left knee just for a moment and catch your balance. So your standing leg could be a micro bend on the right knee, which actually supports the joint and asks your muscles around the right knee and leg to engage. Stand tall. Take an inhale to link the spine. Keep your right hand on the left knee. And as you exhale, lift your, reach your left arm back, slow. And you're welcome to stay right in this position here. It's perfect. 
look where your neck is happy. You can look back if it's available. And if you want a little bit more, extend your left leg forward slow. Don't even blink too much. Carefully come back to center. Unravel as you inhale. Come back to center and hold the left knee again just for a moment. Super nice. And as you exhale, release the foot down. Pose and catch your breath. Rather than react towards anything, just observe if whatever comes up, acknowledge it, but let it pass. To counter that, we're going to forward fold again. Open your feet, hip distance apart, bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale, forward fold. Gentle bend on the knees, bring your belly close to your thighs. If you're not that flexible on the hermit strings, bend the knees more. Try and keep the palms of your hands together. Completely relax your head. Breathe in the belly again. Super, super carefully bring your hands towards the hips again and then slide them down to the floor very slow. Be gentle on your shoulders. And inhale, come to a half lift. Length the spine. You can have the hands on the floor or on the shins. And on the exhale, hands to the floor. Step back to downward facing dog. Pose in dog pose for a couple breaths again. Hips high to the sky with your hands and feet firmly down. Notice the internal quality of balance and harmony. On your next inhale, shift your body weights forward into a plank pose. And when you breathe out, lower your body all the way down to the floor carefully. Body flat down. Untuck your toes. Your best friend, dynamic Shalabhasana. Bring your hands on your lower back, one hand on top of each other. Touch your forehead on the floor. When we twist, we do need lower back stability and Shalabhasana is one of the best exercises dynamically for that reason. So let's make the lower back strong. Begin with the breath out. When you inhale again, lift your chest off the floor and sweep your right arm forward. Sweep your right, right arm like a wide arc and look down. Breathe out, sweep your right arm back wide and bring your right hand to the sacrum and place your right ear on the floor so you gaze to the left side. Inhale, sweep your left arm. Use your lower back muscles to lift the chest. Breathe out, sweep your left arm back and place your left ear on the floor. Let's add the legs. Inhale, right arm and left leg. Do the opposite sides. Exhale, release. Right ear down, coordination. Inhale, left leg, so right leg and left arm. Exhale, release down, left ear on the floor. So the same arm you are doing is the same ear that goes on the floor. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Look down. Exhale, release. Match your breath with the body movement. Inhale, left arm, 
right leg. Exhale down, come back. And just do two more rounds in each side. Breathe and move in the same slow, calm rhythm. You do finish off on the left side, left arm, last round. Just relax everything down with the left ear on the floor, hands next to your hips, soften the shoulders, relax your legs. Feel the belly breathing against the floor. Turn your head to the other side. Bring your head to the center. Hands under your shoulders. Press back up to sit on your heels. And this will be our peak posture. Just sit up for a moment. And now ask Steph to face the camera. And we will mirror you so you can look towards us. We are doing the opposites, but you do as I guide you. This is called Bharadva Jasana A, and it's a full spinal rotation. And we're going to hold here for a little bit. It's in the seated postures that we can experience the forces that come out of the poses, the energetic impact of the postures. That's why it's super important that we stay still for a certain period of time when we do seated poses. So first you will twist to your right side, uh, left side. So we're gonna drop first the hips towards the left, heels to the right. And then make sure you're not sitting on your feet. Your feet is a little bit outside your hips. Then place your right foot on top of the left arch. Nice. Bring your um, left hand behind your back. Place your left hand on the floor. Other one. You go this one. Yeah. And then inhale. Lift your right arm up. Sit tall. And as you breathe out, drop the right hand down. If you can, turn your right fingers towards your left thigh and tuck the fingers underneath the thigh. You might need to lift the leg a little bit off the floor to tuck it in, and then drop it down again. If touching on the thigh underneath here is too much for you, you can just hold the knee as an alternative. Otherwise, keep it tucked. When you tuck the hand, you become locked in the pose. That means you won't be able to get out as you stay, which is good for now. If you're a little bit more flexible, wrap your left arm around your back and touch the right hip. If that's too much for you, bring your hand back on the floor again. And if you're a little bit more flexible, you could even have the left hand holding the right bicep. If it's too much, don't do it. You can keep the hand on the hip or on the floor. Draw the tailbone slightly down to the floor, under, to take out the back bend out of the pose. And take a breath in, link the spine up to the crown. When you breathe out, firm your belly and twist a little bit more to your left. Then now turn your head to the front towards your right shoulder. Look towards the right shoulder. And very carefully release your right ear towards the right shoulder, like in an angle. And find a position for your chin, a little bit in perhaps, where you do feel the left side of your neck. A big, lovely stretch. And simultaneously, relax your left shoulder down. Now close your eyes. Remember the abdominal breathing.
And with your eyes gently closed, turn your gaze slightly upwards towards your eyebrow center on the third eye. If you're comfortable, you can keep your eyes closed. Carefully bring your head back to the center. And when you inhale again, unlock yourself from the pose and untwist. Come to sit on your heels again, Vajrasana. And on the breath out, just to stay with your spine straight. And then take a couple more breaths. Let the spine naturally to readjust and rest in this feeling of inner balance. A calm vibrancy. You are aware you are alert, but grounded. It is really, really the perfect combination to go deeper into yoga. A sense of being alive, but with stability. Going to the other side. Now move your hips to the right, so the other side, and heels to the left. We are mirroring you just to remind you so you can look at us and see as we are doing the opposite as you. Bring your left foot on top of the right arch. Right hand behind your back on the floor or wrap around, touch your hip, or you hold onto the bicep as you eventually get there. Inhale, left arm up, sit tall. And exhale, drop your left hand down to hold on to the right knee or turn the fingers underneath, tuck the, the hand underneath the thigh. If you have wrapped the arm on the other side, then do it now. Slightly draw the tail under. Keep your heart lifted. With your shoulders down, cultivate the openness of your chest. Inhale and sit taller. Exhale, increase the twist. Open the chest to the right. And then gently turn the gaze to the front towards your left shoulder. And then release the left ear towards the left shoulder, a little bit on the sideways. So you feel the space on the right side of your neck. So at this moment, I want you to begin to notice more and more your breath. As I mentioned earlier in the class, if you breathe in for four and out for four, it's a balancing breath. It brings your mind more into a balanced state. But if you want to be a little bit more calm, make your breath out longer. 
in for, out for, just balancing, stabilizing. In for, out longer, like six to eight, is calming. Pick one that you need. Bring your head back to center. Now as you inhale, release out the twist, but bring your legs forwards. You breathe in, come back to straight the spine with the legs at the front, just cross your legs. And then when you breathe out, sit and cross the leg for a moment. Feel the effects of twisting. Breathe. Neutralize your lower back. One seated forward fold. Paschimottanasana. So now step forward, sits um, sideways so you can see her spine. Ideally is that if you round in the lower back to sit on something, elevate the hips a little bit to length the lower back. But if your lower back is more straight, you can sit on the floor. If your hair strings are too tight, you have a gentle bend on the knees and your feet are more or less like a fist apart. Flex your toes. Inhale, lift your arms over the head. Sit straight. Keep your spine straight, and as you breathe out, forward fold with a longer spine. Then release your hands to grab onto your feet, your shins, or a strap. Then inhale, relength the spine. Keep your hands holding onto something. Look down. And when you breathe out, bend your elbows again, go a little bit deeper into the fold, but try to keep the spine, especially the lumbar middle spine, straight. Shoulders back, chest open. Notice that you need a little bit of effort to hold Paschimottanasana if the spine is straight. It's not really a posture that you collapse in round the spine and get floppy. You need to engage more or less the middle muscles of the spine to keep the heart moving forward. But then you're going to find that within your, yourself that is balancing and calming. So pick a breath, in four, out four, or in four, out eight, whatever you need and do for this next minute. Eyes closed, body still. Breath is smooth. Nice. Re extend your arms. On your next inhale, sit up straight, vertical. When you breathe out, release your arms down. Pose in there, take a moment. 
and then find your Shavasana. Turn around with your head to the front, feet to the back. Relax on your back body. Take a rest. Your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Arms next to your body, palms facing up. Now completely relax your breath. You don't need to control the breath anymore. Let your breath mm. be natural. And just feel like the whole light of the universe, the entire cosmos, luminous light, is descending down your belly when you breathe in. And when you breathe out, this light spreads to every single layer of your body and mind. Inhale the light from the cosmos, descend down in your tummy. And when you breathe out, this light illuminates everything, body and mind.
consciousness down to your hands and feet. Begin to lift your toes and fingers. Do any movement that you need to do. Maybe stretch the arms over the head. In your own time, roll over to the right side. And you stay on the right side body for a handful of breaths. Remain with this internal presence. Come up to seat to finish the class with the meditation. To so find a prop, something you can sit on like a boast or a block, sit in a comfortable position. This is the Samana Vayu meditation. Samana is the force of balancing and equilibrium in the navel center, which gives us both the ability to be calm and radiant at the same time. It's also the force responsible to digest things on a physical layer but also on a mental layer, to have the ability to process our thoughts. Prepare for this meditation. We're going to do a little bit of Nadi Shodana, alternating nostril breathing using the hand. So bring the right hand up, and with your peace fingers, you're going to curl the peace fingers on the center, so your thumb and your ring is extending out. Bring your right hand close to your face. Sit up straight the spine, and close your eyes. Begin with a full breath out through both nostrils. Take a deep breath in through both nostrils. Close your left nostril, breathe out of the right. Close the left nostril with your ring finger. Then inhale through the right. Close the right. Exhale out of the left. Inhale through the left. Keep your fingers connecting to your nose. You're just blocking and releasing. Close the left. Exhale to the right. Your right thumb is still touching the bridge of the nose. But you just release the nostril. Inhale through the right. Six counts. You can count yourself. Close the right, exhale out of the left, six counts. The same nostril you breathe out is the nostril that you're breathing again. And then to breathe out, you switch. Breathe out of the right. Continue on your own, alternating the nostrils, more or less six counts each side. If you're more new to this, maybe six is too much, you can do four. Please continue. be doing mental or uh, alternate nausea breathing with your hands and notice that in the mind every time you inhale through a specific nausea let's say the left you are sending energy to the opposite side of the brain to the right brain and every time you breathe into the right nausea let's say you're sending energy to the opposite brain to the left this creates balance on both hemispheres of your brain simultaneously. When the brain is more balanced, right and left, we're more ready for meditation. There's something in the middle brain that opens up and is more receptive and more ready to meditate.
the mind has its, its tendencies. Sometimes the mind wants to give up at one point of the breath work. And that's when you need to continue. That's how we expand the mind. One more minute. One more complete round. No rushing. You do get there. Make sure your final breath out is through the left nostril. When you're done, keep your eyes closed and just very elegantly release your hands down. So both hands are on the knees or thighs. You can turn your palms down towards the legs. It's more grounding. Regulate your breath on a natural pace. Both nostrils equal. See or feel or sense the collective light of the entire universe from all the stars, all the suns, all the galaxies. When you breathe in, draw the forces of this light through the top of your head, down the spine, to your navel center. Very gently, briefly hold your breath in on the navel center. And feel like you're igniting a fire in your belly. Like a powerful blaze becomes alive in your belly. And when you breathe out, you spread the light, the intelligence of this fire, this blaze, to every single tissue of your body and the layers of the mind. I'll repeat. When you breathe in, draw the lights of the entire universe, the galaxies, down from the top of your head, in the spine, downwards towards your belly. Briefly hold your breath in in your belly and feel a fire becoming like a powerful blaze in the tummy. And when you breathe out, the light, the intelligence of this blaze spread to every single layer of your being. Please continue this.
your breath to dissolve, allow your breath to become more quiet. Rest into the essence of Samana as a spiral, multi colored light and energy anchored in your belly. As this spiral becomes more concentrated, more stable, sense the light that's beginning off out of this spiral gives you the perfect balance. Luminosity and stability. Since the force of luminos luminosity and stability through the entire body and mind is this light that comes out of the spiral illuminates everything. Please stay seated in meditation for as long as you need. Rise, you need to finish. Deep with breath. Join your hands, palms together. 
Namaste.